Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we're going to be showing you the brand new MSI GX60. This is a 15 inch gaming laptop model from MSI and it's boasting quite a few new features. As we zoom in closer to the product badge you'll get a first look at some of those features. Notably that we have the AMD 7970 mobile video card here. Also that we're running an AMD CPU instead of Intel on this one. Below the written specs are a few images of smaller things like the killer gaming card and the SteelSeries keyboard that the G-Series is known for. And over to the right you'll see that we have Windows 8 coming included on this model as well. As we pan over the keyboard area, if you're familiar with some of the older models like the GT60, then you'll notice that it looks pretty much unchanged. We still have the SteelSeries branded keyboard here. The Palmerist area is still the nice matte black aluminum finish. Our touchpad has a left and right click button separated from the touchpad itself. And our status LEDs are in the front. As we move into the device manager, you'll notice that we do have two display adapters. We have the integrated HD 7660G, which is the smaller, less powerful GPU. Then we have the full-fledged 7970 mobile, which is the dedicated GPU. As for the CPU, we have the AMD A10 4600, and that is a quad-core CPU from AMD. And over here we have the GPU-Z information on the video cards. Here's the integrated 7660G. This is the low power integrated card for saving battery life. And then here is the full-fledged dedicated 7970 mobile. It does have a full 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 video RAM. Those that have owned or researched on a laptop that uses both an integrated and a dedicated GPU in the same system know that there have been times that issues have cropped up or a application or video game does not properly choose the proper GPU. An example being a video game using the integrated graphics card when it should be using the dedicated graphics card. This can result in undesirable performance and cause the system to not function as it should. So to help alleviate that, AMD has the Vision Engine Control Center where you can go and manually choose the GPU that an application or game is supposed to use. So using this control panel, you should have full control over everything and be able to prevent any kind of problems from cropping up. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and take a look around the perimeter of the laptop and look at all of our ports. In the front, it's nice and flush, you don't have any ports. On the right hand side, we have the four 3.5 millimeter gold plated audio jacks. We have one for our headphones, our microphone, and a line in and line out. This is pretty unique, not too many laptops have that feature. Behind that, a USB 2.0 port, and then our optical drive with a dedicated eject button. As we move around to the back, we have our Kennington lock port, and then the DC power input, the RJ45 networking port, the VGA output, a mini display port, and HDMI output, and then along that, is the exhaust vent for the back. Now these three display outputs actually can be used all at the same time to power three displays at, and not only independently power those three displays but actually put all three of those together as a single virtual monitor using the AMD iFinity technology. I'd recommend you do more research on that separately if you're interested in knowing more about it. And finally as we get around to the left side you'll find the other side of the exhaust, two USB 3.0 ports, a multi-card reader, and then a third USB 3.0 port. The back of the laptop, the LCD lid, is just a regular plastic coating and it is somewhat beveled and shaped with the MSI logo in the center. On the other side, the display panel itself is a full 1920 by 1080p matte type display, so it is non-glossy, it will not reflect any light from you, making it easy to use with harsh indoor lighting or outside. And now it's time to go ahead and weigh things in. Right now this is the laptop itself with the battery inserted. And now it's time for some benchmarking. Right now this is the Windows WEI index. 
We got a 5.6 because the graphic score is a 5.6 and that is our lowest score on this chart. And now more important scores like 3D Mark Vantage, you can see we got a performance score of 12,360. Taking a look at the GPU and the CPU scores independently, we got a GPU score of 17,194, which is really nice and high. And then 3D Mark 11, the newest one, we got a performance score of 4,171. Moving over to the bottom of the laptop, you can spot all of the intake vents for cooling. Here you have the removable battery in the corner. And the front side, you're going to see this weird looking opening. This is for the dedicated subwoofer. And if you notice that the way this is cut out, there's actually a bay door here that you can remove. So you can get inside of the system to do user upgrades. Speaking of air intake vents, right now we're testing out the cooling system of the laptop. We're running Furmark 1.9.2. This is the hardest benchmark on the cooling system for the GPUs. And right now we've gotten a maximum temperature of about 84 degrees Celsius on the dedicated GPU. Now to get into the disassembly of the unit, once you remove that user accessible bay door, you're going to spot one of your hard drives in the corner in the front, next to it one of the heat sinks, and just below that two RAM slots. The system only has two RAM slots, not four. You can still get it configured up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, however, since there are eight gigabyte SODEM modules available. We have the single exhaust fan here that will exhaust through both the side and rear of the laptop and that's responsible for cooling both the GPU and the CPU. And that everybody is going to be the end of our video on the MSI GX60. This is a very nice entry level gaming laptop that has a very powerful dedicated GPU and lots of interesting features. If you'd like to learn more about the product such as current pricing and availability just go to our site gentechpc.com where we have all that information and more. If you have any specific questions that you need help with then feel free to contact us by phone or email and we'd be more than happy to help you with that. So we hope that you enjoyed the video and found it both entertaining and educational. Once again, this is Gentech PC and we'll see you next time.